the second part you can uh, we can use uh, uh, sensory nerve okay. so you can you uh, choose it in the menu or can use uh, a link test also you can use the keyboard uh, so we can use the keyboard and choose it uh, for sensory conduction velocity uh, We use the same point of stimulation uh, because uh, on the same nerve, we can start from five, for example, uh, milliamps. Uh, we can try stimulate uh, because we also need to check impedance because for sensor, sensor uh, responses are much less than motor responses. So we can wait a little uh, at last plus okay we start monitoring i have a little noise but it's not a, not a problem we can try to Uh, no, we have a little noise in this room, but we will get answer okay. So now we'll start at first single pulse stimulation. But uh, for uh, to decrease noise, we will use averaging and you can see Average and you can see very high and good answer of median sensory nerve. So uh, we can measure. Uh, we, we should measure distance. Usually, it's about 140, but this manner it will be uh, 160 milli milliamps. When we uh, uh, register it. Uh, parameters uh, directly from the nerve so uh, for uh, measure conduction velocity we can use only one point of stimulation so already we have conduction normal conduction velocity and good answer uh, some doctors prefer use onset latency some uh, prefer peak latency for and it also um, connected with the aim of the procedure. Uh, so you can, you also can use other points points of stimulation, for example, palm stimulation or, uh, or elbow stimulation for different parameters. But mostly you can use only one point for that. Uh, so we can see good answer. Uh, 